D stupid, more like New York Red Bullseye, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> so, wow. <laughs> The Red Bulls got into, they made some news. Did you see this with Drew Yearwood? Yes, I did. Yes, Drew Yearwood. Which, uh, okay, I'll go ahead. Right, so I'll just uh, mention the story. Um, I, t- towards the end of the game, um, there was a foul call uh, uh, on on Drew Yearwood. He fouled. I forgot who he fouled. Um, Very frustrated. He, he was upset. This was this was towards uh, you know by the touchline. He's upset, so he kicks the ball, ends up going into the stands, and it hits uh, a few people. It, it and it's it, it was just the optics of it are really really bad. So a couple years ago, Kaku. No, there was a guy named uh, Luke Rogers who played on uh, the Rebels back when Thierry Henry was there. And I saw him do something similar where he frustratingly kicked the ball into the stands and it almost hit one of the uh, uh, the it was like a, a someone in a wheelchair who I, don't, I think was like physically incapable of moving it themselves. Yeah. And luckily, the ball just missed them. And there was all talk of, you know, he apologized right away. But it's like you have to be mindful of the of you can't just kick a ball into the stands. I know there was a ton of jokes like, what are the odds he would even hit somebody in the Red Bull stands, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, I mean, they were like people literally injured or hurt. Yeah, well... And I, and him... And here's the thing. When you're out there, you're not thinking about the fact that there's, stands, there's fans on the, in the stands. You're thinking about playing the game and how frustrated you are. He immediately jumps into the stands. For that player, to, for that fan to be like, get away, get away, it's like, I get I get both sides of it, but it's like the dude immediately tried to make amends. I'm not saying what he did was okay, right. but he didn't like walk away and be like, give him a free shirt or something like that. The dude immediately was like, oh no, and jumped in. So right. hopefully this isn't something that carries with him for his career because it's the fact that he immediately jumped into the he, stands. He knew he did something wrong. Yeah. Uh, there was a, a statement put out uh, by the New York Red Bulls. Uh, and and um, y'all read just a little bit of it. And it just says, uh, the club statement says, the, the safety of everyone that attends our event at Red Bull Arena is of utmost importance to our organization. Drew is incredibly remorseful and knows his actions were inexcusable. We will take measures to discourage this from occurring again. We along with Drew will continue to stay in contact with the families to check in on their well-being. And and the the, the thing that um that optically this is why it really was so bad because the camera cuts to the fans the the, the one fan is like yo there's a woman crying there's a woman there's a, crying there's a small boy crying yeah i mean to hit any, i mean if it was like a dude holding shirtless holding a beer <laughs> right, right. you you might not have the sentiment it, just, it hit it hit the people you it hit women and children women and children <laughs> the people who are allowed to get on the boats first in the titanic are not the people you want to hit you with a don't want it just it's so it just sucks and it's unfortunate and and like uh, like you said yeah you i hope it, it it's not something that uh, uh, you know, Drew Yearwood is remembered for, or anything no, like that. It's just, a, no. it's just a, a, a dumb mistake, and I hope everyone is okay. I, I thought it was interesting. But I hope people learn the lesson: do not do that. Yeah, right. Also, right, right. if you're gonna kick it, kick it into the uh, ads, the board, and I think yeah. maybe that was the the intention. No, no, no. He he was trying to like just, kick, yeah, clear, right? You know, but the, and it's interesting because I, I I would say that a lot of uh, Rebel fans probably don't necessarily agree with the young man that was like that didn't want to let drew apologize you know what i mean because he was telling him like yo step off don't even i don't know if that dude was related to the people who got hit i would assume so i would assume so and i hope so because if not don't you take that away from those fans to get at least an apology directly from from yeah yeah uh, look i I understand that the sentiment because if if, let's say it was his girlfriend wife sister or whatever maybe if he, he knew the person and that happens I I understand being being upset at that moment. <laughs> D stupid, more like New York Red Bullseye, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> so, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and we thought we were talented, bro. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got some funny fans, man. Uh, there's, I can't remember uh, who sent it, but I put up the pictures. Did you see the pictures of uh, of Jerry Seinfeld for Kith? I just saw them, yeah, a couple of minutes Incredible. ago. Incredible. Somebody, somebody messaged me. It was so funny. Uh, I have to find it. Um, Ed Eberhardt, who's a big fan of ours, oh, yeah, but yeah, comedians in Subaru selling Molly. <laughs> just, I was like, yeah, 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 that is a great dude. He's like, he's an artist, I believe, yeah, in, uh, yeah. in, uh, and, uh, in, uh, in Atlanta. And a motorcycle race car driver. Look at that. 
but just crazy. So much character. Okay, so the um, oh yeah, we got to talk about Miles Robinson. We do. Yes, Miles Robinson. <laughs> Thank you for reminding us. A nice call, bro. Um, we just saw this uh, a couple minutes ago, but Miles Robinson was arrested. Speaking of shots, you shouldn't take. Miles <laughs> <laughs> Robinson, uh, center back for Atlanta United, and uh, obviously the U.S. men's national team, arrested in um, in. I, I don't know the exact Cobb County in in Georgia. So Robin Zagini said, for what it's worth, the cops in Cobb County are some of the worst. Right. So and this, I've heard this. I've heard this before that once you leave that that highway area that yeah. surrounds Atlanta, once you leave that, you're on your own. Right. Um, so a lot of people. So the details were that he was at a bar and did not pay for a shot that he. What's was given. the scenario? Like you were given a shot. Go, I'm yo, assuming. Go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bono's this and Bono's that, but both can't uh, What is the scenario by which you're, he wouldn't have just been handed a shot? Yeah, th- would he have been given a bunch of drinks and he'd be like, "Yo, I'm not paying for that shot." So I don't. So I don't know that all the details. There is a mug shot, which is again just embarrassing. Um, um, the Mike Thomas said, "What a misleading headline!" Referring to, uh, if you haven't seen the headline itself, um, the 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 headline in the Atlanta uh, Journal Constitution, um, it is misleading because it, it, it it's it, egregious. It's it, it definitely makes you want to click on it. Uh, but you look at the the headline. It says Atlanta United's Miles Robinson arrested. A Accused of misdemeanor theft, and it's like factual. <laughs> sure, the, the, wild. <laughs> the fine was like eighty dollars. It yeah. wasn't. Uh, but why you spend a night in jail over a, a, a shot? It's so dumb. It's yeah. It's pretty, also figure out. Could you tell me who the bar is so we know never to go there? I, so, is the name of the bar in there? I don't know. Scroll down real so, quick. I'm sure somebody. By, they, well, it's uh, behind a paywall, so I don't. I can't uh, see the thing. Uh, Even if you do the reader, hit the reader button. I'm not. Gonna, Sometimes that works. I'm not gonna do that it works right on most websites. <laughs> it's um, right there. It's a little button right there. Robinson, 25, posted a $150 bond. A bond. Uh, right the rest there. happened at PBR Atlanta. That was the that was the place. PBR Atlanta. What if it I doesn't just see work? If it works. What is this? <laughs> No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. <laughs> sometimes it works. It works on phones. If, I don't know if you guys know that. Sometimes if there's a paywall, just hit the reader button, and it'll show you the whole article. Hey, hey any more scams you need? <laughs> Come Tune here, in. bro. <laughs> Tune in. Tomato scams <laughs> football. Uh, so, no, it's uh, it's obviously disappointing to see a headline like that, uh, but when you look at the- <laughs> Del Boy said the Grand Wizard Bar. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you winning, Miles? <laughs> um, when you see stuff like that, it's obviously disappointing. It looks like this is one of these things that- <laughs> <laughs> Joe Midlock said, Cooligan's arrested for refusing to pay for the full article. <laughs> <laughs> and then we end up, we end up, uh, uh, you know, in the Atlanta stealing. Journal <laughs> Constitution. Then we end up tr- hacking the site to try to get, <laughs> to read the article about how we were arrested, arrested. for it. And then we get arrested again. <laughs> Damn, bro. Two strikes, bro. <laughs> I got to drive under the speed limit forever. <laughs> so, uh, it, this looks like a, either some sort of misunderstanding. So, no, I, this isn't a misunderstanding understanding this is this is this was on purpose I, look what what it, what i think probably happened without having read the article is God, what are the scenarios in which you would be given a shot that you don't want to pay for either somebody put a shot on your tab or the bartender said let me get you a shot and typically that means it's free you just tip a little bit more right I, I can't imagine a scenario where I don't think that's the only thing this person drank. Miles didn't go into a bar, sit there, be handed a shot, take it, and then try to run out. <laughs> that didn't happen. I'm almost 99% <laughs> sure that did not happen. Now also, he's recovering from an ACL tear. He's yeah, not yeah, running yeah. anywhere. He ain't going nowhere. Not fast. <laughs> so what happened? He went to a bar. He was either given a shot or somebody put a shot on his tab, and he was like, yo, I'm not paying for this. And like, well, you took the shot. You're paying for it. Now, I said I'm not paying for it. And I'm going to call the cops. Fine, call the cops. And the cops come, and he's like, right? It's crazy. Why are you putting cuffs on me, though? <laughs> um, uh, yes, uh, six foot four black man in this uh, white area. I don't know. I, mean, I feel like I'm going to go with uh, the, the bartender. I don't know. Some people uh, in uh, in Atlanta, some Atlanta fans that we know are- Robin Seguini going to jail with us. She said, there's really not much to the article. I'll paste it in Gully Squad. <laughs> hey. So, the, uh, you know, some people have said that this area is not very- Welcoming to people of color. I don't know the accuracy of 
that at all, but this is what No, I, no, no. I've heard this a million times. Sure. About so, Cobb County. Maybe, maybe that was one of the things. That's where, why I don't order the salad no more, bro. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Straight up Caesar. No. Right. I'm only here for the seeds. You feel me? <laughs> so, um, so it looks like, um, you know, what, whatever dispute there was, uh, you know, the fact that somebody would even call the cops over a shot is, uh, is, is, is I mean, it's insane. It's it's absolutely insane. I don't know what, the fact that you know how we got to this uh, this point, but uh, very very stupid.